Oh, thank, praise God. The old is gone, the new has come. What if we were living a life where there is no such possibility? What if we were living a life where there is no redemption, no chance of changing, no hinge, no turning, no new, no new creation? The old would just stick with us and everything in my future was bound to everything that had happened in my past. And I couldn't break that. I couldn't break free of it at all. What I had done wrong, what others had done wrong to me, that determined my destiny. Well, this says there's a new life. There's a new way. It's as big as new creation, the creation of all things, and it's as radical and complete as a man giving his whole life on the cross. There is new life in Christ. Do you get that? It's radical, it's complete. But that's why Jesus told his friends to take up their cross and follow him. Because what he's saying is, this takes everything. I don't come into your life as an add-on or an accessory. I don't come into your universe as the ninth moon, you know? around the edge and the periphery. No, you don't add a little Jesus to your life. When I come into your life, you give me your whole life and I make your whole life new. But it means you walk through this cross. That's why Paul, the author of this letter, he said in another place, you know, Paul, think about this now. Paul, a violent anti-Christian terrorist could write to his friends in Galatians for I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live that's gone that's old that's in the old stuff and I took that and I put it on the cross and I've been crucified I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live it's exactly what he's saying that he in him all died you, you, you go through the cross with Jesus but Christ lives in me the life I now live in the body I live by faith in the son of God who loved me and gave himself for me or again he says in Romans for we know that our old self was crucified with him it's that big it's that powerful it's that complete our old self was crucified with him so that the body ruled by sin might be done away with that we may no longer be slaves because anyone who has died has been set free from sin. Now if we died with Christ, we believe that we shall also live with him. You go through the cross into new life. Look, you don't come to Jesus you don't move from being in Adam to being in Christ by thinking about acting like Jesus. You give him your whole life and he gives you new life. You come to the cross. You bow down at the foot of the cross. Your former self, your enslaved and bound self, your curved in self, it gets put on the cross and it dies. That's it. But on the other side of the cross is resurrection. And you find that in giving your life over to Jesus through the cross, you find new life in him. And that new life is joy. That new life is eternal. 